Uh, I thought we had, we came out, actually, you know, the first shift for every one of our lines, I thought it was just okay. And we had a, I think we kind of talked about, hey, let's make the second shift the better shift. And from that point on, I thought our first period was very, very good. Uh, we finished off some opportunities, but, you know, on Brandt, uh, second goal, you know, I, I thought we were doing some little things. <coughs> we were, uh, Jordan Sims was really driving the net that opened up the lane for Trevor Gerling to pass it over to Brandt. I thought Billy's line did some, won some battles down low. Uh, Billy did a nice job getting to the net, getting that puck off. And then, um, so we had a pretty good first period. The second period, I thought, was better than the first period. We, we, even though we only scored one goal, I thought that we uh, really dominated uh, in the offensive zone. We were able to sustain a lot of offensive pressure uh, in the zone, so I thought that was pretty good. And we were pretty happy with uh, that. It was a big goal Billy scored at the end of the second period. There's 10 seconds left, and uh, certainly gave us uh, more momentum going into the third period. And for the most part, I thought a third period was pretty strong as well. Whereas the last game, I didn't think at RIT, I thought we took our foot off the gas. I didn't think that was the case tonight. I thought we played solid in all areas. Billy, can you talk about the buildup on that power play goal? It seemed like the puck movement was going really well along the boards. Yeah, I think uh, one of the things we talk about is you're not always going to score in the first five to 10 seconds. Um, you know, don't rough start running around. and. You know, trying to make pretty plays, keep on making the, the right plays and stick with it. And um, you know, oftentimes when you do that, you know, you know, you have better chance of scoring than if you, uh, you know, try to rush plays. Tick talked about kind of you guys were really opportunistic tonight. You took advantage of the opportunities you had and kind of their mistakes and did kind of did the little like things like they kept that puck in on the blue line on the uh, I think it was the second goal. Could you just talk about? Yeah, anytime you want to keep that kind of pressure, good things are going to happen. I think on my first goal, yeah, Gerling was doing a tremendous effort going in the corners and battled on the half wall, and the puck came out to him and threw towards the net, and I was able to get a stick on it. But yeah, when when guys are able to battle and win those little things and get those opportunities, it's definitely huge to, to capitalize on, for sure. He has a little bigger picture as seniors now. Can you each talk individually about how you've grown as players and developed while you've been here? Uh, yeah, obviously there's been a lot of twists and turns along the way, um, but you know you have four years to make the most of it, and uh, that's something that we kind of talked about off the ice is just making the most of every opportunity that we have, and you know such a it seems like a long time, but it really is a limited time together, and uh, you don't want to look back and have any regrets and. You know, we've been lucky to have three really, really good mentors, um, you know, plus all the assistant coaches we've had. But, you know, we've been fortunate to have Coach Marshall, Coach Bard, and now Coach Cavanaugh. And, um, you know, each of them have been really good mentors to us and kind of, you know, helped us along the way. What do you, before we jump forward to you, Brent, what do you feel like you do better now? Or, or how are you a different player than when you came in? Um, I think you just try to learn from, um, all the situations you've been in over the years, um, how to react to different things, whether it's you're up a goal or you're down a goal. Um, just try to get a feel for the team, see what needs to be said or what needs to be done to you know push the team in the right direction. And you know Harry's really good at that, and Simmer's really good at that too. Um, you know, so it's important that guys look to them as well, and um, you know they're good guys to follow. Uh, I mean, how I've Changed as a player. I know from going in from juniors, where normally the guys are, are were the studs of the team. So so be it. And when you come to college, you may not have the skill to do the same type of things in junior hockey. And I think personally, I realized that within half half my freshman year that I can't I'm not a, not skillful enough to do the things that I did in junior. So I learned to use my body a lot more and get in the forecheck and hit hit a lot a lot more. And uh, I think that's been a little more effective for me and especially guys I've been, I've learned from throughout the years helped that a lot too. And, and along those lines, um, Coach School, he was talking before the game about what a strong team you guys are. How, how is, have you built up your body in the course of four years to, to be to play sort of a man team? Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's four years of, you know, it's kind of a short year compared to other hockey seasons, so it's 
you definitely got a, more, a lot more time to build up that strength, and and even with the the week long gaps in between games, it's easy to to maintain maintain strength as compared to the juniors when you're playing every second, third, third day. So, no, it's definitely um, definitely huge to have that time to build muscle and go into the fourth year of being as strong as you possibly can be. Thanks. Kind of along those same lines, you have, you have four seniors dressed tonight, but all, all four of you are pretty big contributors to the team. Can you talk about you know, wanting to go out on top and you, besides the Sacred Heart game, you've been on a roll, you know, unbeaten, like in the, I think six of the last seven. Can you talk about kind of what it's going to take down the second half to uh, go out as you know, champions? Yeah, it's going gonna, it's gonna to take a lot. Obviously, we haven't won before, so it's something that we haven't really uh, have any experience in. But, but yeah, we know what we can do and what we can help the team with and I think that we got the group of guys that can can make a push for it and really really uh, compete to, to win it and we think we can do that so